Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary once again. In my previous session, I talked about radar plotting, including the initial reporting. Initial reporting is extremely crucial as far as the practical uh, watchkeeping is concerned or examination is concerned. We have taken a situation of clear visibility where the target bore 038 into 12 miles at 10 o'clock and later at 10.06 it was 038 into 9 miles. The report that was made was clear visibility at 10.06 target bore 038 into 9 miles bearing constant and distance reducing situation was rule number 15 crossing. Relative bearing was 048 degrees green 30 knots CPA 0 TCPA 1024 target course 250 target speed 25 knots. Now, we made this triangle. This triangle is of 6 minutes. Here is the scale, right? Now, the question is what happens in a situation like this where you are give a vessel and the other target on starboard side is stand on vessel? You are required to take an action at 1009. Assuming that the action is immediately implemented. What would be the alteration of course required or if you want to do only reduction of the speed, what would be the new speed at 10.09. Now in this situation it is assumed that there is no performance delay. That means whatever action you are taking it is instantaneously applicable. That means if you are reducing the speed, the speed reduction is immediately applicable at 10.09. Or if you are altering the course, there is no performance delay. It is assumed that at 10.09, you already settled on the new course. No. So this question is assuming that there is no performance delay. Whereas practically, it's not possible. Practically, there is always some performance delay. We will try to accommodate performance delay also in this session. Now, at 10.09, the action is taken and it is immediately implemented. So, this is the relative approach of the target, 6 minutes. So, at the same rate, the extrapolated position at 10.09 would be here. To find out what course should be steered or what speed should be reduced, right, to keep the target 2 miles off, I will use the same triangle. This triangle has to be used like calculator machine because time is very precious in radar plotting. You don't have time to make a new triangle because remember plotting takes time. Plotting is not instantaneous. Plotting takes time. I want to use the same triangle as a calculator. When you use a calculation in a calculator, do you throw away the calculator after that? No. So I am going to use the same triangle but I am going to get the current results. So how to use the same triangle and get the current results? I have to assume that the ship is over here but actually the ship is not here. Right? So, in this triangle, I first need to see what all things in this triangle are not changing so that I can remake another triangle, superimpose on this, keeping the things which are not changing as constant. In this triangle, most probably WA is not going to change because the target is stand on vessel. Now, I have to remake the triangle, keeping WA as base, WA. W as well as A and site WA is not changing. So there are, are numerous permutation and combination of completing the triangle. I need to, in addition to WA, I need some other data to complete the triangle. So what is my intention actually? My intention is the target should be passed 2 miles off at CP. Now this target is in crossing situation. I will be altering course to starboard. When I alter course to starboard, the target will naturally pass on my port side. That means what I should do is take a 2 mile circle and draw a circle on my port side. Target from here must relatively approach on this line. So this is the new approach line. I want to use the same triangle but this is the new approach line direction. Approach line is represented by OA. I already have A. That means I want to cut and paste kind of OA in such a way that A is placed on top of A of the existing triangle. 
So this line is transferred with a parallel ruler in the existing triangle. This line will make side OA of the triangle. At the moment, I don't know where the O is going to be, but A definitely is over here. In order to complete the triangle, vector triangle, I need to construct the side of O. I already have the magnitude. I'm not going to change the speed, so I'm not going to change the magnitude. I might change the direction. So what I do is keeping W as center, I put an arc, I put an arc this way, where it touches the OA line, that point will become O dash. So you can see a new triangle is made and that new triangle is O dash A W. O dash A W. Now this triangle shows that my relative speed is now increased. Looks like 3.3 miles in 6 minutes. That means 33 knots. That means from this point onwards the target is going to move at 33 knots. At this point I am going to have new CP. So at this rate that this distance is made in 6 minutes the ship would be here, the target would be here at 10.15 and looks like uh, 10.20 or so the target will be at new CP, 2 miles off. Now this was the action and if I want to know what is the course what I do is put the parallel ruler here and place it over here. So it looks like 18 degrees 018 that means the course, the new course in order to have a CPA of 2 miles will be 018 that means an alteration of 28 degrees is required to keep uh, target 2 miles off. Now in case I don't want to alter the course then this should be the distance that is made in 6 minutes. Okay, I don't have to alter the course and the new triangle that will form is this and this distance O double dash A in 6 minutes will decide at what time I'm going to have the new CP. After 10.09 6, 12, 18 and maybe 19. So 19 plus 9, 28. At 10, 28, CPA will be there in case I don't want to alter the course and just reduce the speed. Now let us talk about performance delay. What is performance delay? Performance delay is natural because when you alter the course, you are not immediately settled on the new course. Even in road vehicle, when you alter the course, you don't make a perfect angle. So in case of ship, what happens is, let us try and understand with the help of a simple diagram. Assuming that this is the alteration of the course, right? At say 10.09, I alter the course. Now, it is said that the performance delay is 6 minutes. That means if you alter the course or if you reduce the speed, you are settled on the new course or new speed after 6 minutes. So actually it would be uh, impossible to do precise plotting assuming that the ship is going on a curved path. But what can be assumed is if the performance delay is 6 minutes, you assume that the ship is going on the initial course for half of the performance delay that is 3 minutes and precisely at that point the ship is settled on the new course. So you assume that till 10-12 you went on the original course and at 10-12 you are settled on the new course. So in this question let us assume that there is a performance delay of 6 minutes and the action was taken at 10-09. We will assume that for 3 minutes that is from 10-09 to 10-12 the vessel continued on the original course and speed and therefore the ship relatively will be over here. Now at this stage if I want a CP of 2 miles I once again put an arc of 2 miles and from this point I put the tangent on 2 miles circle and transfer this line over here. Rest of the action is similar with WO as radius I draw an arc cutting the relative line at O dash. O dash A is the new relative speed. So we can find out 
if this much distance is traveled in 6 minutes then when is the CPA going to be right at this rate what time will be the new CPA so probably after about 10 minutes similarly we can find out as to what should be the speed assuming that there is a performance delay of 6 minutes so this was a plotting to explain what is the alteration of the course required or reduction of the speed required assuming that there is a performance delay of 6 minutes